Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Calathiel Tan and welcome to another Tuesday Talking video. Today I wanted to give you a little collection tour of my current vintage doll collection. Now, before we get started, I should mention I do have two My Friend dolls from the 1970s, but I store them with my 18-inch dolls, so they won't be in this video. This is the rest of them. I keep them all in this glass case I got at a thrift store, and she in the middle with the red outfit came in this glass case, but I really like displays to have a very full look, and I was starting to worry about dust and realizing I can't really wash them without damaging them, so I put them all in this case. So I thought I'd start at the top. This one is a bisque doll. She has one of those leather bodies with bisque hands. I believe she's German. One of my favorite things about her are her little teeth and the little dimple in her chin. I also like how thick her eyebrows are. Right here is a Ginny doll from either the 50s or 60s, I'm not sure. And she has ginger hair. She's one of the walker types. When you move one of her legs, the other one moves too. It's really hard to see, but in a dress from one of those 8-inch Madame Alexander dolls that I dyed with some fabric dye. Over here, we have one of my favorite vintage dolls. I can't think of her name right this moment, so I'm going to add it in in text on the screen. But she's in between outfits right now while I decide what to put on her next and she has composition head and hands with a cloth body. Right here we have a insert text on screen here. I believe she was a Goodwill find, although I might have gotten her in an eBay auction. I'm not 100% sure. I already mentioned where she came from. It was a charity shop for animal rescue. I'm pretty sure her face is the material that's like made from oyster shells. I can't remember what it's called. She has a really nice outfit and a little fan she can hold in her hand. Over here we have a doll that I got in a big box of other vintage dolls. This one here. I am working through reselling a lot of the ones from that box, but I really like her little face and her neck peg is also broken, so I wasn't sure how much interest there would necessarily be in her, so since I liked her anyway, I decided to add her to my display. She's wearing, I think, a Bratz jacket. We have back here. I think she's made of the same material as the doll in the red outfit, but just more worn and aged and and a relative actually purchased her for me and gave her to me as a stocking stuffer. Up front here, I believe she was in a haul I did on camera. She was also from Goodwill. I don't really know anything about her other than she is vintage and she's made from plastic. She has a really cute outfit that she came with, including one shoe, and I just think she's really cute. Over here we have this little boy. He has, if I'm remembering correctly, a speech box, but it doesn't work anymore. And he is composition, I believe. His joints are very, very loose. Um, he has to be posed just so, so he doesn't like fall over. I really liked his outfit and I found him at the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall. And when I picked him up, I just knew I had to have him. He was one of the reasons I decided to display them in this case because he needs a lot of support right now. Now to like sit up or anything. Eventually I hope to restring him but I want to make sure I know what I'm doing first. Down here we have a little celluloid baby. I think it's celluloid but I'm not 100% sure. His eyes do blink. Actually he is one I could pick up and show you. His eyes do open and shut and I just crocheted him a little diaper. Down here we have a Sunshine Family baby in his original outfit actually. He came in a big lot that I purchased on eBay to resell the components but I decided to keep him because he's so cute and I really like the red hair. And then lastly down here, she was also from a haul from Goodwill. I think it might have been the same one as this. She's a clothespin doll and I decided to keep her because I really like making clothespin dolls as a kid and I didn't really keep any from that time. Also, I just thought her little dress was really cute. It's just like little display but I really like it. I'm pretty happy with the amount I have right now. I hope that was fun for you all to watch. If this is the first video you're watching by me, I typically make videos about ball jointed dolls, art dolls, and miniatures with occasional content about vintage dolls and fashion dolls. If you're already familiar with my content, don't forget about the Facebook group. It's linked below and I also have a Patreon where you can help support this channel financially for as little as $2 a month in exchange for seeing all of my YouTube videos one to two weeks early. And now 
that I reached my first support goal, I also give away one doll every single month to a patron. So be sure to check that out and see if that's something you want to be a part of. Those who support me on the Fairy Godparent tier on Patreon, in addition to what I already mentioned, also get a print of one of my dolls sent to them every single month and a shout out in every single YouTube video I make. So shout out to Road to Eret Fan and my anonymous Fairy Godparents. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!